Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Late Night Deep Cut. I've got a short little episode for you tonight. Um, I want to talk about an actress I recently found. She's an actress I I've seen in a few movies, but I never actually um, bothered to research her. But I, I recently saw her in a, a, a movie unexpectedly, and uh, and I had an unexpected emotional reaction to, to seeing her. And uh, it was very interesting. Um, her name's Karen Black. I've never heard that much about her um, until I started researching her. It turns out, uh, in the late 60s, early 70s, she was pretty... Well, I'll put it this way. She had a pretty amazing resume. Actually, a very amazing resume. She worked with Alfred Hitchcock in The Family Plot. Um, she was in Five Easy Pieces with Jack Nicholson. At one point, she worked with Robert De Niro. Um, what else? Francis Ford Coppola. Uh, she was in the original Great Gatsby as well. But then in the late 70s, 80s, 90s, she started doing a lot of B-movie roles. Uh, a lot of B-movie roles. I'm just going to read out some of the titles. Dinosaur Valley Girls, Children of the Corn, The Gathering. That's part four for those of you who don't know. Plan 10 from Outer Space. Didn't even know there was one. Bound and Gagged, A Love Story. The Rollerblade 7. Legend of the Rollerblade 7. Yeah. Zapped Again. The sequel to Zapped. The Squeeze. It's Alive 3. Island of the Alive. I've seen her in a lot of her B-movie roles. I, I've watched a few of them. And, and she's still really, really good. How is she good? Hmm. She's She's sexy. She's confident, and, a, and and she's vulnerable. As awesome as being sexy and confident is, I'd say that it's the vulnerability that really, really does make her stand out. I swear I never cheated on you before. I haven't been faithful either. Not faithful, what does that mean? I just made love with somebody and it scared the hell out of me because it meant something. I enjoyed it. It was free and spontaneous, the way you used to be. This this one movie I watched that actually sparked my interest in this character, um, it's called Separate Ways. I got the movie, I rented a box set of uh, drive-in cult classics. And actually, that's the only way you can find this. Uh, it's rarely released on its own. I don't think it's ever been released on its own, actually. But usually you can find it in these group box sets of... Uh, you know, cult classics or, you know, late night terror or something like that. But what's funny is it has nothing to do with that. When you hear, like, late night terror or driving cult classics, you think, like, exploitation movie. The movie is about a housewife uh, who's spent most of her adult life uh, depending on her husband. And she finds out that he, uh, he's been cheating on her. And uh, so she cheats on him with an art student. What's interesting is the, the cheating on him with an art student thing is actually a, so small compared to the rest of the plot. She gets a job at this place. It's a restaurant uh, called Foxy's, I think. It's more like a bar. I can't remember if it's Foxy's or not. But she gets this job at a bar, and uh, it's kind of like Hooters. It's a theme restaurant. All the waitresses have to wear a costume. The costume is crazy. It, it, it's, it's like a Playboy Bunny costume, except Fox-themed. At this point in the movie, I'm like, okay, here's the, here's the point where, where it, it becomes like an exploitation movie. No. There should be no graphic. I mean, looking is all right if they're polite. But you're a waitress, and they got no rights over you. Except to expect good, polite service, that's all. What, what, what could have easily become another exploitation movie quickly becomes a very good character study. Um, you have this, this woman who spent most of her adult life uh, with this man who provided for her and whatnot. Um, she, and, and, and here she is on her own um, with an opportunity to actually think and fend for herself the one thing that gets me, the one thing that really defines this struggle um, with becoming her own person, you have these guys who are harassing her and the other waitresses, and uh, and she kind of stands up to them. She has this moment where she stands up to them, and even after just standing up to them, she goes off and she's huffing and puffing and angry, 
But then she goes back and she kind of plays with them. She takes initiative and she deflates their passes and she deflates their egos. She kind of earns their respect in, in, in her own way. It's it's a very interesting scene, and I was very like taken aback by how, how much I, I kind of liked it. Now, I, I was cheering for her. I mean, here was a situation that could have gone bad in like three different ways, and and she basically came in. She she basically handled it on her own, and and, it, and the movie does a great job of building up that kind of tension of like, uh oh, what's which way is this going to go? Which way is this going to go? I think one of the reasons that this moment that this moment in this movie was so impactful to me was not just because of the directing, but definitely it was a lo it had a lot to do with her amazing acting. As I mentioned, she has this really, really uh, amazing vulnerability uh, that has a great amount of strength in it. It's it's a combination that that I've uh, I've definitely seen in a lot of strong women in my life um, that, that you can't help but admire in a certain way. And she captures it perfectly. And, uh, and, uh, and I really, I, I got something out of it. It was, it was, it was, a, it was fun to watch. It was great. As I was looking through her filmography, I, I found a lot of interesting movies. Over the next few weeks, we're going to be looking at a few of those titles. We're going to be looking at each movie on its own. Of course, I will highlight her performance here and there, but the main purpose is just to look at these movies. That's the episode. Very short, but it was a story I wanted to tell. An interesting actress that I really, really like, and it's definitely one of my favorite now. Um, and I hope you watch some of her movies. You won't be disappointed. Have a great night. And remember, life is just an intermission, at least until we meet again. Take care. Hi, everybody. I'm Logo. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.